Hello guys, this is me, Kate Delez. So we're back with a brand new YouTube video. Today my voice sounds horrible. That is because I have a stuffy nose and a sore throat. I'm sucking out holes right now because it is so bad. But I'm making this video for someone. Somebody in the comment section of the American Eagle thing apparently got it because obviously I said you should get it. And now he's confused. Well, if you don't have any triggers, how do you like play a game? Well, there's actually a couple different types of things. I'll get it out in one second. But you can go on the app store like Apple, Samsung, whatever, Kindle, whatever, and look up VR games. And some games will come up like one of the first ones I saw and I thought it was awesome was Maze Walk. Some of them don't work because they, you have to have a controller, but most of them I've learned you can put in a mode where it shows a little dot and if you look at whatever you want to do like it says like levels options modes and let's say you want to go to level one you look at and there's this little dot that's like flying around in your site if you look at the dot then for like you know a second then it goes to all the levels and then you can choose level one two you know so on and so forth so let's say you want to do level one you look at level one and now you're in level one and to walk in the game it said you can just walk in place, but I've learned if you want to like do it as like a time test to see how fast you can do it, it's actually faster if you kind of like nod your head like this and kind of move your body like this. You cut your guy actually kind of runs, but if you do this, your guy just kind of walks. And the point of that game is to get the top of the tower. You could just look up like VR maze and it should be there. But actually, that is not my favorite. My favorite is this site on YouTube called 360 VR videos. You can just look it up. And there are so many. There's like Star Wars rides. There's Disney World Parks 360. There's um, Soarin' from Disney World. There's roller coasters that you can go on. There's water parks that you can watch. And you, on your phone, you'll see, you'll put it in and you'll be like, wait, um, it looks super blurry. And you might say, oh yeah, I need to split the screen. But you might be, go to like settings on the phone and try to split it. No, that's not how you do it. On YouTube, you'll have your phone and where the like the bar is on the bottom like where you can like fast forward the video over here usually there's like a pause and if you want to like stream it to a tv there's another mode and it kind of looks like a little vr if you tap on the vr the screen goes like split so then when you put it in your vr it actually looks amazing if you like focus it on the top and stuff it looks amazing but i'm going to get it out and show you some of these features and I'm going to show you like, where to put the phone in and that kind of stuff. So, you know, here it is. VR headset. This is the exact one you have. This is how it's on top of the VR headset, like you're wearing it like this. On top, there are these two triggers. You can adjust if you want it, like, tighter to make it a little more focused or less focused on both sides, like this, like back and forth. And also, right here, there's this little slidey things. If you can see this, it goes bang, bang. And you could slide these back and forth to put the lens in different spots for your eyes, if your eyes see better at different points. So that's kind of nice. It's all good, all of your adjusting features. Then the guy in the comment section asked, I got one. How do you play games without the triggers? I told you that. Um, but finally, he asked, how in the world do I get the phone in there? Like, what? How do I get the phone in there? It's actually a little bit difficult, but you'll see on one side, it will say hashtag whatever, arrow style, EO, whatever. What It says hashtag that, and behind the hashtag, there's this little thing that came off of it. Do you see that? That little thing? And if you pull this out, that's actually where you put the phone in. And then you obviously can put the phone in right here, like this. You just put the phone in right here. Make sure it's in the middle, and then you just slide it right back in. You kind of get, it does take a little bit of work. You just gotta get in the right place, slide it back in, and put it on, and then you could do all the videos and all the games you want. So that was kind of my um, helpful video. If you guys didn't know how to use this, make sure to like the channel and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.